Hey guys, today I did this look that took me around 45 minutes, but it looks like it took around three hours. I love using different products for different areas of the face. I didn't have an eyeshadow palette to use, so I doubled my bronzer and highlighters as eyeshadow products, and it looks like I spent hours on my eyes when in fact I didn't super quick and easy and you can use this look when you're stuck you know if you're at work and you've got an event to go to after and you've only got your basic essentials with you you can use them to create eyeshadow looks and look like you've been put together for hours if you want to know how I achieve this look then please keep on watching lately I've been loving this clarifying lotion from Clinique it really helps my dry skin in winter because it's starting to get cold in Sydney. Um, this is for very dry to dry skin. So it really helps to nourish and moisturize the skin. For moisturizer, before putting on makeup, I love the Chi Transformation um, Moisturizer from Ole Henriksen. Love this. It really nourishes the skin and helps makeup sit so much better. For the eye area, you always want that moisturizer as well. So I use Benefit It's Potent Eye Cream and I just apply it to the areas around the eye and it really helps makeup sit better and also keeping your eyes moisturized because you apply powders and shadows on top of the eyes so that definitely will dry out the skin. For lips, you also want the moisturizer as well. So what I like to do is apply a lip primer and this is the one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is fabulous. If you apply this before you do your makeup and you apply a matte lipstick or even just a normal lipstick, it will sit so beautifully on the lips. It's not even funny, like it won't even get into the lines. I have quite oily skin, so for my makeup to sit all day, I use the Matte Rescue from Benefit. And this is just a primer. Um, it goes on after your moisturizer and it really mattifies the skin so that oily skin types makeup can last all day. Today I'm using Rimmel London's Match Perfection Foundation and this colour is in 203 True Beige and this colour definitely matches my skin. It looks a little bit darker but it looks great on my skin and it blends very well. This foundation is all about um, improving the look of your skin, um, reducing the visible pores that you have. Um, imperfections, dark circles, um, anything that you want to hide but not masking your skin. So keeping it hydrated and looking like skin. And I just like to dab it softly into the skin. Now going in on the areas that I just want to cover a little bit more around this area, my nose and a bit on the forehead. While I let that foundation set on the skin, I'm going to go in and cover and highlight any darker areas on the face just with Kat Von D's Lock It Concealer. And this is in the color Medium 22. I also just like to apply this to the back of my hand and use a synthetic brush to apply it to the face. The brush I'm using is Real Techniques angled shadow brush. So you really just want to get in there and get those dark areas covered. And I just put a little bit on the eyes just to cancel out the darkness and redness and veins and anything that you can see. <laughs> Again, I just blend that out with the Beauty Blender. Now that we've applied the cream concealer and the cream foundation, we definitely want to set those areas in place. So I use Agent Zero Shine by Benefit to set the under eye area and the places that I get quite oily throughout the day. So I apply quite a generous amount underneath the eyes and around the nose just to set those areas. 
I also apply it down the nose and up into the forehead because I do get oily there. Make sure you get those areas around the nose. I definitely get oily on the chin and around the mouth area. And whatever you have left on your brush, just brush it over the eyes. This will help set the concealer that we applied earlier. Now that those areas are set, um, we'll brush off the excess later. But for now, we want to set the other areas of the face. And I use NARS Beach Powder and a tapered face brush by Sigma. It's the F25. And I just pat this all over the face in the areas that we did not set with the other powder. Agent Zero Shine is a translucent powder, so it doesn't add color or coverage to your face. Um, this powder does. It has a bit of color, as you can see, and it also um, has a bit of coverage. So you're also helping the coverage of your foundation. I'm going to quickly fill in my brows and when I quickly want to fill in my brows I like to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and this has a spoolie on one end and the pencil on the other so it's easy to be able to brush out your brows as well as fill them in and then brush them out and fill them in you know so I always like to brush up my brows to start with so that I know the shape that I'm going for Always when filling in my brows, I like to trace the outside first. So the top and the bottom. And if you feel like you've gone a little bit dark in an area, just brush it out. It's not the end of the world. So once you have the outline done, you can fill in the rest. I forgot to mention the color, it's medium brown. Towards the front, you don't want too much structure in your brow, you want it to look a little bit more soft. Definitely softer than the tail of the brow. You want that to look quite structured, but in this part here, you just want to lightly feather the pencil and brush it out. I like my brows to look quite full and thick and natural and bold. I like bold brows. So with my brows, I have a secret weapon for them looking super full and thick and gorgeous and it just adds the most perfect finishing touch to them. It's the Gimme Brow by Benefit and this color is medium deep. When I apply this, I feel like my brows sit perfectly all day long. It's just so amazing and you'll see the difference. So with this, you just want to brush it onto the hairs. See how that added texture to this side that looks a little bit more flat? I mean, this side looks great, but this side just looks bomb. So the next eyeshadow look that I'm going to do is my sort of everyday eyeshadow look when you're sort of going out after work and you need a look put together. And I discovered this look because I was stuck without an eyeshadow palette, but I had to go out somewhere and all I had was my basic essential makeup bag. And I mean, my basic essential makeup bag is much more than the average person's. But what I had with me was the Benefit Browsings and the Hula Bronzer. So I'm going to show you how to do an eyeshadow look with these two products. Of course, with me, I had a blending brush and it's the 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush by Zoeva. So just with the Luxe Soft Crease Brush, I'm going to go in with Hula Bronzer 
and I'm literally just brushing that in to the crease of the eye. I always carry a blending brush around with me, a small one, because you never know. You just never know. And knowing that bronzers and blushes and highlighters and all that can definitely double as eyeshadows, you don't need to pack that much stuff in your essential makeup bag. Now that we have that all blended out, I will use the Benefit Browsings Powder. And I'm just using this double-ended Sedona Lace brush, the EB29. And I'm just gonna use this side to pack it on the lid. Knowing that we still have the translucent powder under our eyes, it will be much easier to blend out the Hoola bronzer and really smoke it out to give it a really nice effect. So you just wanna connect the top and bottom lashes, top and bottom lash line, sorry, just by creating a light shadow underneath. And then you want to go back into the eyebrow palette with the end of this brush and just brush it along the lash line to really make your eyes pop and look really really awake and look super duper put together like this just finishes off the eyes it's using a nude or white eyeliner in the rim of the eye this one is Sigma's highlighting pencil in matte so that powder has been sitting on there for a while now and I just want to go in and dust it off with the same brush. I'm using a powder. This is Hourglass's Ambient Diffused Light Powder and this has quite a nice sheen to it so it's going to make the skin look really glowy and dewy. With all those powders sitting on the face, this one just really helps the skin to look a little bit more glowy and natural. It also helps to highlight those areas because it has quite a nice sheen to it. It's not super shiny but it does just have like that really nice gorgeous sheen and when you're dusting off the translucent powder you want to add something there that's going to brighten up the face rather than look dull and really matte. Before I do any more contouring or any blush on the face, I like to highlight first. And the highlighter that I've been absolutely loving lately is Opal by Becca. This is just so gorgeous on the skin and it looks really, really beautiful and natural. I apply this with a tapered highlighter F35 brush. I'm gonna apply some on the inner corner of the eye. This will just help to brighten it up. For my nose, I use this Surat Beauty one and I'm not sure what it's called, but I will link it down below. To contour, I'm gonna go in with this gorgeous color from Surat Beauty as well. Not sure what the shade is called, but I will list it down below as well. So this shade, I really like to concentrate it right above that contour line. And this will really help to chisel out those cheekbones. I'm just using a Luxe Powder Finish 132 brush from Zoeva. This Surat Beauty palette, I'm pretty sure you can still buy from Mecca. It's a um, three palette, like it comes by itself. And then you have to choose your own colors and obviously for something that you want to just chuck in your bag you want to have a highlight color a contour color and also a blush color so these three shades are perfect and I will link them below I know this shade is called cantaloupe and I love this on the cheeks I'll show you how it looks soon but seriously this is the perfect palette to just chuck in your bag and always have it on you to touch up or if you have to go out and you just want to quickly apply something you've got all your shades in one palette with the nose I'm just going to use the same brush and whatever's left over on the brush as well and just dust it down the sides we don't want it to look too harsh 
Now that we've got our contouring done, I'm going to go back into Hula and take a big fluffy brush and just really bronze up the face. So I'm just applying this all over my cheeks and my forehead and I'll also go underneath my chin just to bronze up that area. Next for blush, I'm using Cantaloupe by Surat Beauty. With this blush, I like to really focus it on the apples. So you kind of got to smile. And I also like to just pat it on the skin rather than swipe. Because you don't want blush all over your face. To finish off the eyes, I always carry a eyelash curler on me. Always. Because it just makes such a big difference. Especially because I've got giraffe eyelashes. They're so straight. I need them to be curled. For mascara, I'm using Their Real Primer by Benefit. And also Their Real the original version. I like to apply the primer first obviously because that's what a primer is for. Really surprised with how much this primer lengthens the lashes and separates them. And then when you go in with their real mascara it just adds thickness and volume. Revlon matte liquid lipstick in there and I have been really wanting to try these out so much so it's going to be a little bit of a first impression because I obviously haven't tried it out yet. I also recently got some Gerard Cosmetic um, nude lip liners. Yeah this color is nude. Oh they're nice. I like this and it smells like marshmallows really really nice formula and it goes on really really well wow I love this color why have I not tried this at all so that's gonna go in my basic essentials bag 100% love it so much I'm going to carry this everywhere I go, like literally. So good. Well, that was a good reaction. So guys, if you love this look and you want to see more looks like this, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to thumbs up it if you did like it and I'll see you in my next video.